<laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? In Do Bureau it again. Rex, a spoiler is that. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do it again. My name is Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> what? Do it again. T minus five seconds. sequel trilogy, but I'm kind of new things around here. 
the wonderful people at Square Enix Quadrangle Division. They both know that I'm both a fan and I'm both a gamer and a Jedi. And so they invited me to come host the show and I couldn't be more excited to share with you guys. The people at VR really want to do something a bit different this year and I just, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys better be ready because we're about to kick off the press conference. But V3 in week weeks is more than just this press conference here today. Right behind this unsuspecting channel is a catalog full of thousands of Vero Rex and Kingdom Hearts related shorts that you can watch for free today, created by the Square Enix Quadrant Division. Tons of gamers have already checked it out online and logged on, and you can be one of the millions. <laughs> you can be one of the millions to join them right now. I know that so many people have already clicked on it and they are fans of it already. So hop on and join the community. But before all of that, we're going to kick things off with a look at the Villain Rex subscription service. Now, I know Lisha Patrick gave you a bit of a look at that last year. Yeah, yeah, we clap it up. <laughs> but we have some new stuff to show you guys today. Um, then coming up after that, we are going to have a very special presentation and we're going to move on to the Elder Scrolls. And boy, <laughs> do they have some big news for you guys. Any yeah. of fans in here? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and then we have a great performance of Mobile Games Chair. And then I'm going to come back towards the end of the show give you guys a nice, meaty look at Real Rex. And then of course, yeah, you can probably lose Real Rex, I'm into it. You want to do this with me? <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be any fun if I gave you guys all the secrets at once, right? <laughs> come on, you can do this. You just need to sit back and enjoy the show, right? <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Oh, no. oh no, too much. You call me when you do yourself. How did I hit you? No, 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 Well, the answer to that is, we don't know. But tonight, I could be our presentation. Entitled, we are throwing on the main three, so... We are going to take you on a journey that you have never felt before. Before we can do that, we need to answer all the questions that you don't know the answer to. Like, when did the chicken come? <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing we know is gamers. This time we'll probably feel the role in the reason that are definitely going to happen tonight. And you will probably also wonder where can I play those things when they come out? Well, it's time for you to make the VR app, okay? We'll shake hands. An exclusive powerful and intuitive gaming application which utilizes and harnesses the power of extensive malware in order to ensure that your experience with the own next to the is more and not be compromised. But we do that could be like, you will know, you know, receive any and all news and information available about the own next to the world and in the land releases from the social 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 media teams. And as a step forward in support, any and all troubleshooting, compliance, and issues will be forwarded directly to the team and Mara. Executive Producer and Labor Manager of the Square Enix Project and Division. To ensure that better feedback will be handled in a timely and according and also accordingly now. And the best part is, it will be installed on your computer the second you exit this room. Along with a complimentary and exclusive to this presentation email, you will need to continue the Mars own personal server starter. Take a look at this video showcasing the powerful and wonderful, incredible and feature filled new PR. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, you know I wonder where you are. No, 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 The stars in the sky decide to bring you Hey, everybody! So, I'm here in the crowd at V3 Run Wraith Freaks, and I just happened to find Mr. Sunny Ray Mimi 
ready to show all the stuff yet, we're working on a bunch of stuff. It's amazing, the teams are keeping us. But we wanted to bring a little tidbits and we've been working with Omar on getting the name and kind of and setting for what our Kingdom Hearts games may be and what are not probably going to be. And we were saying, you guys got any guesses? Uh, I bet you, I bet you did it. It's going wild right now. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so this Kingdom Hearts game is Remax the Canal Grand Musical. <gasps> wow! So Remax the Panera Grand Musical. Yeah, so it can be some idea that you be playing a Jedi. Um, does that mean I get to like put a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> you gotta go anything else? Well, it takes place during prophecy. Uh, Maybe a little big here. This one is being hunted, so it's gonna be extra So, for all the like, like hardcore nerds out there who want to know like when timeline, like when between which digits is it? <laughs> between you know, the memory and the place in the fourth one. Between you know, the memory and the place in the fourth one. Alright, that, that sounds like a nice time. Uh, what are the, any, any other two bits? It, it's not a nice time. It's a dark time. It's a dark time. Bad times. <laughs> Does that mean it's gonna be just like a dark and serious? It's amazing. <laughs> so, I think people are now interested to know when can we play the game? It will the finest star last year at the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary live stream. And for that, we dipped into the pot of redemption, bringing love, light, and happiness back to the universe with the release of Tell You Excuse Me, the music video, in February, which was inexplicably wonderful and met by approval from everyone. But we only learned that sort of growth, that sort of change, through the help of the close-minded folks at Bethesda. Please welcome to the stage, Todd Howe. Thank you. Thank you. A warm welcome here, warm, warm, good ground. So, Todd, what can you tell us about your new involvement with the Square Enix Quadrant Division? Well, Master, Well, yeah, and I'm, 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 I'm just so particularly grateful to be here in this, this time. We are welcoming Skyrim to the Canon Digital Camera! Very, very funny, Master. Um, in, all, in all serious, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Todd. Go on, go on, stay your peace, go on. It's okay, go ahead and tell them about our next release. <laughs> We are bringing Skyrim to the microchip. That's right. You need only lose 
with your precious little doggy or kitty, and a beautiful Skyrim quest will immediately spawn, leading you to their exact location. We believe this will help save more pets than ever before, which is why we're partnering with the ASPCA. <laughs> and in an act of charity, all the proceeds from each copy of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim purchased on any platform, any device, will be 100% donated to any local shelter in your area. That's right. No more money to the fest. What? <laughs> and that is not all. Coming soon, we will have Skyrim Unlocked. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, that's right. Exactly. No more tricks. Skyrim Unlaunch will be available on your PC as soon as uh, the birth of your third child is now right on. <laughs> this has to stop. I mean, this is, this is stopping. I'm okay. I'm okay, okay. I went I too far. I'm sorry, Todd. I'm sorry. Go on. Say it, please. I, I, I thought I was a guest at this presentation. Where is my slice of the pie? Where is the cut of my dude? With the bread and the pillow. No, where is the, the, the mashed potatoes, the pumpkin pie, the cranberry sauce? Yes, 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 yes. We are talking all the floor, Todd. Don't do this to me, man. I mean, we are, we are live right now. Everybody in the world. We are ready to announce that we are bringing Skyrim to the Fallout 76. Okay. <laughs> you! How dare you! You, you dork! Go back to the chess club! Who's <laughs> laughing now? Probably a wife and children. Oh, my God. 
Nossa!
Okay, thank you guys so much. This has been an amazing crowd. I had no idea where Grand Rocks was until I was approached by Tetsuya Nomura. Okay, now that was like so crazy for me because like I had a brother that played video games and I didn't even know what Kingdom Hearts was. But then they told me to go to this amazing event and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like so cool. Now, like all you folks, just remember to love yourselves and and believe in the amount of bullshit that you can accomplish. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna finish this off and maybe I will blow a kiss to all of you guys for you know giving me the opportunity to work here because it's like Texas is such a small state. I just can't deal with. Oh. Oh, what? What's this? I thought you were dead. Oh. Oh. Are you okay, bro? What? Oh. Oh. Okay, who is this? What? Oh. 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 No way. No, no way. It's Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran is here, everyone. Ed Sheeran is here, everyone. What? I thought. I have no idea. Okay. So, like, I know you're probably a little bit mad about the cover that I did. It was just kind of like a... You want to perform together or something? We'll make it all take you back together. Okay. I can maybe get into that. <laughs> you alright, <like> Brad? <laughs>
Unlike anything you've seen yet in the web, a mobile in-app online total complete gameplay storage modes. All you must need to do is to simply email us your credit card and address information, and we will mail you the necessary parts in order to play the Bureau Mobile X game. Okay? That is, unless you have access to an Apple Gigaplex Flixbit, 9000. In which case, you're done. Excitingly enough, we have some testers going on right now. <coughs> Alright, well now he's in front of us. Okay, let's see his array. Now, as you can see here, he appears to be unlocking his phone. Very advanced. He's opened up Twitter. He's opening up his... Okay, he's opened up the app. It's loading right now. And now he's trying to get inside of it. Collection of all his memories and all the places that he's been. Okay, that's good. Alright. Now as you can see here, he's got one of them digital avatars. Stephen! Don't turn it to you. Whenever you want to come the wooden thing? I think you stole it from me. Well, he's selling it home now, and... Yeah, oh, how much we love the um, rhythm games here at Square Enix. Alright, he's turning up the brightness slightly, and shit. Yeah. 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 situation here. How do I do this? No. So I hope. Sorry, so Somebody called Zay Z. Zay Z. Anybody know Zay Z? I ain't panicking, I just gotta figure it out. In life, there's roadblocks. I wanna go. Kyrie. I'm stuck in a tree. In the ocean. So I didn't want to, but she did. While we were fighting, Sora was trying to remind her of their bond and all the memories they shared. But Kyrie just denied him. It's never a joke thing, that's the problem. Shit. Honey, I just text you. Trey Yana, I just text you. Check your text, Yana. Anybody know my people? Time I took the, the secret route. I'm going to be ready to stop. The, like when I seen the tree, you know, see, I could have just easily turned around and went a different way. But I was trying to go over the tree thinking I can go over it. Remember it? Yeah, I do. I'm enough about that. What does it matter? If that's not your dream anymore, you need to realize what are you fighting for, you saw what are you? What are you? Oh, 
And it is still cool every time that I see it. So, I know all of you, like me, have had tons of questions about VMRX since last year. So, because we're all Square Enix fans, we're going to do something a little bit different for the rest of the show. We are going to take a deep dive into VMRX the Panera Bread musical. And to help me do that, I've got some very special guests from the Square Enix Quadrant Division development team. Please welcome Yozora, Lushu, and the Master of Masters! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Welcome! Oh. Welcome! <laughs> Sit in close, everybody. Sit in close, come on! Welcome on this stage. Oh, 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 it is true that it was once foretold, I must say. <laughs> oh, a prophecy! That's cool! We did it! So, uh, tell us just a little bit about the world of Vero Rex. Absolutely! <laughs> Quadratum is a place of nightmares. The unique world of Quadratum is unnavigatable, unexplorable, and difficult to see. And the best part is, there is no map. In order to get players truly immersed in the world, we wanted players to get lost. Ew! No map! How exciting! <laughs> Uncharted territory, right? It's gonna be like Lewis and Clark in here. Precisely. Ah, precisely. And trust in our invent, overcompensated, amazing AI to generate automatically every four feet a new enemy for you to attack on the massive in-game ruler. Talk about an amazing time. It'll take you forever to get to the story. You'll never run out of things to do, making this the longest and most exclusion game ever. Oh, you serious? You could be all blowing my mind right now. I mean, I mean, how, how are you going to all make sense of it all? The best part is you. <laughs> 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 now, from what I've seen, this game appears to be built for the PS5, is that right? Exclusively. So, get your, get your PS5s now, right now, right? <laughs> get your PS5s now, right guys? Because you're not going to want to miss this. Through the world turning in line, we determined that the only way to make our own works and maximize the unique experience of the world of Quadratum would be on the highest processor and internal cook temperature known to man, otherwise known as the PS5. What we understand that we may have just lost half of our player base, fear not. For an extra fee of 900,000 money, we will have one of our expert players come to your house directly and play Virum Rex for you while diving out of a high altitude plane. And if you think that's still not good enough, we are partnering directly with Sony to provide you with an amazing and limited edition re release of the PS5 that comes with your Remax and a Fury Garden of A that you can cook on the PS5 while playing your Remax just to prove how much the world of Quadratum utilizes the ps 5 powerful engine and just how hot it will be. Wow! How cool is that? Where can I sign up? I gotta get one for myself! It will be available to pre-order at select prize food stores starting this December, with no known release date. 
But we know that you're more than willing to bet your money and your life on the outcome, regardless of the distance and the descent. That is so true, Dennis. Now, right back now in the shower, um, the, in the show, <laughs> a lot of us probably have questions on our mind about this spectacular game. And luckily, we can answer some of those right now, as we've been spreading our wings, you know, asking the people on the Twitters and the Tumblers and all that <laughs> chat. <laughs> Make me feel like I need a pee baby. <laughs> So, this first question comes to us, actually, from the anniversary live stream over on YouTube from last year, and it is from user uh, 2 b actual 2 b content who says, Bro, I'm not here for Kingdom Hearts. Tell us about the latest FFXIV news. Oh, I'm guessing 14 news, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be really meaning to tell everyone this for quite some time. When the comes out, the Final Fantasy XIV servers will be in mediation. It can be repurposed for Room Rex extensive and vast online gameplay. That's why Room Rex has online play. <gasps> wow, what a commitment! I know a lot of people really like that game, so that must have been a really hard decision. Oh, that wasn't hard though. Okay, I'll mark that perspective. <laughs> okay, can we get security over here? Yes, thank you. I, I, th I really think we need it over. <laughs> out I say out! And the one with his foot in the other one's face Look at me, Mrs. Levitt, look at you Now we all deserve to die Tell you why, Mrs. Levitt, tell you why Because the lives of the wicked should be made free For the rest of us, death will be a relief We all deserve to die Okay, next question comes to us from Rini H Who asks, is it a feel good game? When I finish it, am I going to be glad I spent all this time on it? Excuse me, come on. If you're not feeling good after playing Miraworks, there is something wrong with you. We're not good constructive criticism. That's all you do But we have found our play test, the amount of screen that occurred on account of play testers occurred simply because players hadn't yet finished Miraworks and didn't know the full story. My hand is going completely numb. That sort of thing can be very polarizing, especially in the gaming industry. So, <laughs> so quick to judge our task questions. Why did I play this, or why did I play this? That sort of thing ages finely, like fermenting cheese or decaying flesh. Things that you never knew you needed will become clearly necessary after playing Beer and Rex. We're not here to tell you Chances are there's a lot of things that you're giving the most feel-good moments. Yes! But quite hopefully fulfilled. And you know, I, I have to wonder as a future player, of course, how does this contrast with uh, Sammy's comments earlier in the presentation? How did you strike that balance between dark and gritty and happy? <laughs> or even <laughs> those good vibes sort of things? Remember, this is what we're going to and you will know it's the end until you're completely dead. Next one. Alright, next comes to us from an enormous AOL member services user who asks, what has been the most challenging thing about making this game? I would say the most incredible and smallest and largest challenge has definitely by far been the Max. And I would say that the Giga Blast Max have such an incredibly tiny bit in the Kingdom Hearts 3 series, and there are incredibly condensed versions of the actual files. The largest problems, despite our best efforts to size them accordingly, have been in containing the Vex. <coughs> the files from the Vex are incredibly cocksucking and large. And precisely, that we must have had to make special versions of the PS5 with increased capacity. <laughs> as the maximum gigabyte size refuses to shrink. Cool. Great point, Lushu. In fact, the files are so large that, within the internal structure of the computer, there is the equivalent of a small bedroom in a house from the 70s that is currently housing those parts. Oh. 
due to the game's impressive physics engine. For the next to spawn in game, once those parts must fall onto the metaphysical floor, unfold themselves, and be repaired with tape as necessary. Wow, getting into some real techy stuff. I don't quite understand what you're saying, but I'm picking it up for sure, for sure. I'm sure there's this there's gamers in the audience know exactly what you're talking about there, right? I'm excited to love it! The word of this discussion is glass blood. The mouse has been real under control. Uh, are, are we talking like a PC port? Think about it. Uh, uh, <coughs> now for this exclusive presentation and it's exclusive. So that exclusive gameplay on exclusive Two. world premiere. Let's take an exclusive first look at the world of Virum Rex. Alright, so my character is already doing an idle animation. One of 9,001 unique animations developed exclusively for the PS5's engine. Will you see them all? Now, let's get him moving. The DualSense actually responds to the blood flowing in your fingertips, allowing the character to speed up and slow down with your flow. Did you hear that? Some of the amazing voice acting by Dylan Sprouse, who plays Yozora, the king of Quadratum. Check out that lens flare. The gorgeous and well-performing ray-based lighting system is unique to the PS5's abilities and even has real-time, realistic sunrise, sunset, and high noon capabilities. Even the night is realistic. Check out that low visibility. You will be completely immersed and be able to see just as much as the characters can. Or just as little. But we didn't stop there. Verum Rex is the first game to have a real-time fly rendering system. Just like when you step outside of the house, insects will appear in-game procedurally generated by the PS5's powerful processing core. The number of flies will depend on your character scent, and the environment, and the environment scent, and the story, and the story scent, and the number of flowers, and the number of trash, and the number of dead food, and the number of food left out overnight, and the amount of flies recently born to the in-game breeding system. And don't worry, your characters will react to those pests. Oh my god! Just another part of Virum Rex's in-depth realism. Using the PS5's powerful engine, Virum Rex has incorporated the idea of focus into the gameplay. For instance, if I'm not focused, then characters will laugh and stop the event. Oh, here. I just lost focus. Back into action. <gasps> I am practically nodding in my hands right now! You guys have a war! We do not. So, not back in. That's why we're trusting all of you and uh, your devotion and our abilities enough to put all of your money, pour it all in, to the pre-orders this December. Exactly! Mm -hmm. So give that hype up until you die, my guys. No more turkey. Oh, guys, wait! I think there's somebody close. Is there? It's in the stitch, Sylvia. No, 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 no.
you in a sad eye. So I hope you guys. <laughs> so I have the question on everyone's mind. When do we get to play? Mom, mom. <clears throat> so mark your calendars, everybody. Fire up your tweets. Thank you so much again to the awesome Square Enix Quadrant Division team. Let's give them all a round of applause. Oh, now, well, none of the important things that you saw today are available. It is possible for you to download the VR play when we get home. But you don't really, uh, you don't really have much choice about that. What my mouth? Who is excited to check out some more of your rights backstage and add the water for the rest of the convention? Right, there is no convention. <laughs> or release date. Or I'll play the demo, but we have three complimentary coffee, orange juice, bubbly, and donuts backstage. So feel free to take the opportunity. I'm gonna go back there myself. Hell, you know, I just, I gotta have that bounce, you feel me? No? No, no, no. <laughs> You're just like, I'm gonna go out and get some myself. Stop talking! I get it, I get it! I want to thank everyone for coming down here and watching the press conference. And have a great weekend! And to the baby. I really want to thank no one at all for coming out today. Yep. It was a great time. We're gonna hang out here in the convention lobby for a little longer. And because there's no one to talk to, we're going to go ahead and answer 105 best first date questions with Viram Rex, okay, the Panera Bread musical. Right, this comes to us from... Seventeen, the Teenage Magazine. Okay. And who better to represent Viram Rex than that? Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the ones at the top here. Okay. This is their questions for the first couple of minutes, which I feel like is what we're in right now. Our microphone is turned on correctly. Um. Okay. Great. Yeah, it is. You've all been able to hear this. All right. First question: How are you? Slash: How was your day? 
How was Vera Marx's day? Well, it got to go out in, in the sun. So, I feel like it's probably doing pretty good. Yeah, I think it's alright. It's usually yeah. stuck in a cage. What classes are you taking right now, Vera Marx? Um... Intro to Cardboard Construction. <laughs> mm, that's a big one. And Advanced Procrastination. Yes. What do you want to study slash are studying, Vera Marx? Kind of the same question. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Vermarx is studying the limits of the human brain. Yeah. Where do you go to college slash plan on going to college, Vermarx? Harvard. Where do you work, Vermarx? House. Six. Do you have any plans for insert upcoming school break or summer vacation here? Anything at all. Seven. Do you have social media? Vermix does have social media. You can find us at Panera Bread VR. Is there an underscore? I don't know. <laughs> On the Twitter website and official Vermix official on Tumblr, yeah. as well as this particular channel, Banana Rocks is seventeen. You already know. Do you hang out in this neighborhood often, Vermix? I think that's the only place we hang out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know when certain mutual friend here, Vermrex? By relation. Tell me more about yourself, Vermrex. I am single mom. <laughs> 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 Alright, I feel like we've really broken the ice. <laughs> Alright, yeah. One. So, Vermrex, what do you do for fun? Not do Vermrex. Number two, do you want to go to college in the state? Or I already said Harvard, that's not in this state. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show slash movie, Vera Marx? Vera Marx. <laughs> what TV show did you last binge watch, Vera Marx? Vera Marx. Vera Marx. What was the best concert you've ever been to? Vera, Vera Marx. Who was your favorite musician slash band? Vera Marx. Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite book or favorite author, Vera Marx? Yoko Shimomura. Okay. <laughs> I'm just honestly just checking if Rock the House was done yet. It feels extremely <laughs> long. It's still going. For some reason I thought it was looping, but it's not. Yeah, no. <clears throat> okay. Vera Marks, what clubs or activities are you in? Um... Chess. Okay. Uh, Vera Marks, do you have any siblings? Vera Marks is a duo of siblings, so... It's also siblings with Versus 13. Yeah. As well as the entire Kingdom Hearts series. Um... Vera Marks, do you have any pets? Uh, I think we have four. Yeah, and they're called Lynn, Luke, Ray, and, and BB-8. Jujinka. Though it's debatable how much of a pet he is and how sentient he is. I feel like that's a little offensive if you call him All right, a pet. then we're just gonna right, have to move on. Discussion table. Do you have a favorite place to go around town, Vera Marx? Like Pleasant. Like Pleasant. Do you have a hidden talent, Vera Marx? Erotic dancing. What's your favorite food, Vera Marx? Chicken fries. <laughs> What's your least favorite food, Vera Marx? The milk of the poppy. What's your go-to place for takeout? Panera Bread. Who's your celebrity crush? Lin-Manuel Miranda. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Lin-Manuel Miranda. I was gonna say Tetsuya Nomura, come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite sport slash who's your favorite professional sports team, Vera Marx? Um... Ricky Ricardo. Alright. What's your all-time favorite candy, Vera Marx? Nutter butter. That's arguably a candy. Okay, fuck you. What's your go-to karaoke song, Vera Marx? I, I, I guess it would be, um... Halo? Mm. By Depeche Mode? Ah, not by Beyonce. Yeah. Do you prefer the indoors or the outdoors? I do prefer indoor filming. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can only bring three items to a deserted island. Vera Marx, what do you bring? Luke. <laughs> so that would be his wig and his beard. Um, so that's two items already. 
and he'll get jealous if I bring anything that doesn't have anything to do with so him. So you might as well just bring his robe. Might as well, as well just bring the robe. Yeah, that'll do. Who would play you in a movie about your life, Viramrex? Manuel Miranda. What would be your superpower, Viramrex? Uh, nothing. If you won the lottery, what would you buy? A new person to make Viramrex. If you were elected president, what would you do first? Enact the Viramrex disorder. <laughs> if you could live in any other time period, what would it be? Um, like 2009. 2009. <laughs> What's the last movie you saw, Viramrex? Viramrex. What's your favorite local coffee place? Uh, I guess Panera Bread serves coffee, so it's that. <laughs> so does Cinnabon. What's your favorite holiday, Viramrex? Um, New Year's. What's your favorite season? And the least favorite? Um, I guess the favorite season would be the dead of winter, and the least favorite would be right now. <laughs> <laughs> what type of music do you listen to, Viramrex? Um, musical LMM type beat score tunes. What is who are your favorite creators to follow on TikTok? That would be Lin Manuel Miranda and um Danny DeVito. Do you believe in ghosts or any paranormal activity? Absolutely. We were just Talking about talking Luke. about Luke, who is our resident Viramrex set ghost and has caused a lot of destruction in the mm -hmm. room that we're in right now, even. Yeah. Would you rather try time travel to the future or the past? Why? Viramrex. The past, I guess, Viramrex. Because I feel like maybe it'd be a little bit easier to be accepted. <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> Do you play any instruments, Viramrex? Um, the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we are, have moved on to the when you want more info section. It's getting really intense in 17. Alright. What are your dreams, Viram Rex? To create the perfect society. What is your favorite memory, Viram Rex? Uh, that is definitely going to be... Um... Snipping my finger open as Lin-Manuel Miranda. That was a classic one. Really sweet. If you can talk to anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? George Michael. I'd ask him for guidance in my future. I think we all need a little bit of that. Um, what is your family like, Viramrex? Not too bad. <laughs> Are you close with your family, Viramrex? I mean, it's- Probably closer than they'd like us to yeah. be when Viramrex <laughs> is going on. What does your perfect weekend look like, Viramrex? Perfect weekday for Viram Rex. That's gonna be. Um. It's a weekend. I said weekend. Weekend? Who has a perfect weekday? Okay, well, typically. <laughs> <laughs> Viram Rex's perfect weekend includes sex on the beach and, and <laughs> horses running through its hair. Yeah, great. What's on your bucket list, Viram Rex? Finish Viram Rex. Are you a morning person or a night person? Night. Certainly night. Do you have any nicknames, Viramrex? We call it VR, the creature, bait of my existence. The thing. The movie. It's sometimes referred to. Do you, um, what is your biggest guilty pleasure, Viramrex? Uh... I, I guess... Um, the foretellers. Mm, yeah, the foretellers <laughs> make me feel sinful. <laughs> Alright, Viramrex, what is your favorite place in the whole world? Uh... Not here. Who was your best friend and how did you get so close? Well, with Nomura it all started when he saw what a great job that we're doing and mm -hmm. he told us he was proud of us. Mm -hmm. And that he always wants to be by our side. And he was so scared. But oh, we what happened if he lost us? We helped him understand, but we'll always be there for him. What's something most people haven't done, but you have? Now, this is a good one for Viramrex. Okay, that's, that's just about everything in it. That's, yeah, most that's most things that happen in Viramrex. Stayed up for 24 hours. Yeah. Broke a Bucky Barnes... Candle. Religious candle on the glass mm -hmm. floor. Glass everywhere. We have... 
Um, what else? Bad that. Okay, I'm all stuck. Drink butter extract. And it's stuck on barbecue and sprayed it all over the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. Uh, just cosplay Lynn Manuel Miranda. Yeah, that's something that I one. really don't. I wouldn't recommend, but it's I don't think a lot of people have done that. People all right. We could go on forever with that one, but I guess we're just gonna have to hang yeah. it up there. Um, if you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Where would I go? Um, Veramarx. Yeah. <laughs> Veramarx would go to the local crematory. Okay, that's good. What's your ultimate dream job? Veramarx. Mm -hmm. What's something about yourself that you think would surprise me, Veramarx? Um, Penelope is very violent and crude and vulgar. <laughs> yeah, that's something the world hasn't really seen yet, and I'm afraid for what they do. What's something about- oh, I already asked that one. Are there any hobbies or subjects that you'd like to learn? Being better. At Verum Rex. <laughs> At Verum Rex. Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert, Verum Rex? In a strange way, extroverted, extroverted, though this could not possibly happen if you were a normal extrovert, so well, yeah. it's kind of a little mm -hmm. bit of both. What issues facing our country are most important to you, Verum Rex? Definitely, um, lack of attention on Verum Rex. Yeah, that's a huge one. Yeah. Joe Biden is just not paying attention the way that he should. Have you ever attended a protest, Verum Rex? Um, I have protested the rights of uh, Verum Rex. If you could live in any city in, court. in the world, where would it be, Verum Rex? Um, Quadratum. What's the best piece a city of- city with tall buildings. <laughs> and then there's a couple of those, I hear. <laughs> What's the best piece of relationship that you- advice that you have ever received, Verum Rex? A boy from Star Wars, a boy from the regular old world. That's all that you really need. Mm -hmm. That's how you make it work. What's- have you done recently for the first time? All right. What's your favorite Learned way? Learn about to... nodding. <laughs> What's your favorite way to relax, Viramrex? Learn about nodding. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you, Viramrex? This stream. Yeah. Do you consider yourself <laughs> a religious or spiritual person, Viramrex? I really do feel like Viramrex makes me believe in God just a little bit more. Well, yeah. Many <laughs> things have happened during Viramrex that I feel like I can't really explain in any other way. Yeah. Like the slurping dog. Other than something outside of myself. Now we're on to the questions for when the night is almost over. Okay. What are your goals, Viramrex? Lose everything. What's most important to you? Dying on this hill. What do you see your future like? In flames. Where do you see yourself in five years? Riding a gondola. What are you most passionate about? Riding a gondola. <laughs> what are some of your biggest pet peeves? When no one shows up to my live stream. <laughs> <laughs> what do you fear, Vera Bricks? <laughs> Ultimately being alone. Yeah. Do you have any regrets, Vera Bricks? Vera Bricks. No. What's your proudest accomplishment in life so far? Vera, Vera Bricks. Who inspires you? Vera, Vera Bricks. Do you believe in soulmates? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? Virum Rex. Rex. <laughs> what was your first impression of me, Virum Rex? Virum Rex. Okay, that wasn't a good answer. <laughs> what was your first impression of you? Um, that it was gonna be a one-off funny joke. Mm-hmm. And it would be like ten minutes long. <laughs> and then it became so much more. Do you know your love language, Virum Rex? Topsy turvy. What scares you the most about getting older? And what excites you the most? Lack of hanky panky. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to go on this date, Viramrex? Being trapped in a room with me. Yeah. <laughs> when was your last relationship, Viramrex? 
Never. <laughs> when did your last relationship end? Always. With Vera Mrex. <laughs> when do you, what do you consider to be red flags in a relationship? When they like Vera Mrex. <laughs> yeah. What excites you about the future? Vera Mrex coming out. Yeah. What worries you about the future? Vera Mrex not coming out. <laughs> what about me stands out to you the most, Vera Mrex? Wow. I'm whatever. Thanks. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> What's something you think people misunderstand about you? Um, I, I think people are, are not really sure this is just kind of like an elaborate joke that we're doing. It's really not. There's something happening. I don't really know how to express that to you any better, but... Um, there has been something being filmed for years on end, and it's going to come out. And yeah, there's at, at least like 45,000 gigabytes of uh -huh. footage that has been filmed. It's a feature-length movie. Probably even longer. It's like two feature length movies, or maybe even three, depending on how bad things get. It's incredibly large, and I really, I'd really like you to just like take me seriously and understand that like when I put number in the orange juice, I'm not fucking joking. <laughs> it's this is real. This is real <laughs> life. If you could change one thing from your past, what would it be? Creating Vera Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> okay, when it's time to go, Vera Marx, Did you have a good time tonight? Well, it's that afternoon, so... And not yet. Are you busy later this week, Vera Rex? Hopefully not with Vera Rex. <laughs> Did you want to hang out again sometime, Vera Rex? Did I? Um... Well, the thing is... <laughs> probably won't talk about that for another couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Can I text you later, though? If you want! I don't know what to say to you! <laughs> Did you want to split the check, or do you want me to pick up the next one? <coughs> um, well, it's clear to me that the food's already been paid for. <laughs> and the plates are empty. I take a There's nothing but mint in my hand. <laughs> Would you want to check out Insert Movie Show Restaurant here sometime? Um, if it means Vera Marexi, yes. If you mean not going to anything related to Verum Ranks, I disagree wholeheartedly. Right. Well, that's all of Tamara's questions for us. How much more time do, are we told that we have a lot of? We have at least a couple one, two, more three, three, ones. Like eight minutes to go. Eight minutes, okay. <clears throat> okay, some other 17 articles I'm getting recommended 100 for one and flirty questions to ask a crush. What you need to know about losing your virginity, 17 kissing positions for your next makeout sesh, and the five best dating apps for teens. I think the flirty questions are probably kind of okay. what we need to be working on, because it said q and A. I really just- I don't think we need to learn anything <laughs> <laughs> that isn't related to a All question. Right. Okay. Then, Vera Marks, let's ask some crush questions. Okay, crushy. Do you think double texting is a big deal? Okay. Um, what is double texting? <laughs> when did you have your first kiss? <laughs> I would say it was Lin Manuel Miranda and yeah, Luke. I, I that was actually the, true. the first time that I've ever kissed anybody. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done to get a crush's attention? Probably Vera Rex. Vera Rex is absolutely a ploy to make a man fall in love with me. Because who wouldn't want to look at someone? Pretending to be a great anime hair boy robot and just be like, God, I need you. With Vera Marx, the <laughs> benefit of Vera Marx to interpersonal relationships is that you can see someone at their absolute worst before you even had, get to talk to them. No, and it probably won't even make you sad, it'll just make you laugh. And that way, when like something normally bad happens to them, you'll be like, Well, it wasn't as bad as it was when yeah. you were Riku. Right. Yeah. Which is just kind of how we take things yeah. anyways these days. Do you believe in astrology? And does your sign fit you, Vera Marx? When were you born? You were born in June or something? Uh, uh yeah, I think it was maybe kind of May. July, so... So you might actually be a Gemini. Uh, I might be a Cancer. Okay, well what do you think about that? Who knows? But at the same time, we were talking about the beginning of January 2021. So then that is... Does that go more Aries? I don't I've, know anything. Sagittarius? I don't fucking know. I don't care about this at all. <laughs> What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done, Vera Marx? Related to Vera Marx. Um, 
That's the entire thing is spontaneous. Yeah, I don't. Really. I don't think there's a, a time that I've filmed for Vera Max that like it, it. It was planned. Not really. Because they even even like Pleasant things. was constructed within the course of a week. And that yeah, that's not normally what you call mind you my birthday week <laughs> planning for. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> you should not do that. <laughs> if you go to a restaurant and have terrible service, is it ever okay not to tip Vera Max? No. No. Because it's not their fault. That is immoral. Have you ever cheated on your significant other, Vera Max? Many um, times. Yeah. We cheat on Vera Max with other uh -huh. things that we enjoy doing more. And we're about to do that again. The rest of these <laughs> next couple of months. So this is the last you're going to be hearing of us. <laughs> Because we're big fat cheaters. And we're about to and turn whores. golden. <laughs> Whatever that means. Have you ever been cheated on, Vera Marks? Um I don't I don't really think anyone has ever even wanted to go near us, so no. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest regret, Vera Marx? My biggest regret. I don't- I, this is just one of the other questions we've already asked. Okay. I just don't feel like- What's your dream date different. night, then? My dream date night? Um, getting fantastically laid and, um, opening up a steaming pot of Viram Rex and shoving <laughs> my boyfriend's face into it. Okay, that's- <laughs> How many significant others have you had? Zero. No. Somehow, after no. that. Are you looking for a relationship, Viram Rex? Looking for a relationship. Or are you looking for a sponsor? I'm looking for someone to pay attention to Vera Rex, so yeah, I'm looking for a relationship. Just no, nothing too <laughs> committed. Just we already answered that. You we have to be as non-committal as us. How do you usually react to conflict in a relationship? Um, singing. Yeah. Um, these are kind of terrible. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? Vera Vera Rex. Rex. Um, what do you wish you were really good at? Vera Rex. If you were a dog, Vera Rex, what kind of dog would you be? I would say dead teacup pooper. Lion. Alright. <laughs> do you believe in aliens, Vera Rex? Do I believe in aliens? Um, I think I am one, so yes. Do you shower at night or in the morning, Vera Rex? It depends, it depends how stinky on, it's gotten. It depends on what we're, we've been doing <laughs> for Verum Rex. What's the most cringeworthy outfit you've ever worn? Now um, that's difficult with Verum Rex. That's tricky. I feel like it's it's less of I I'm whatever on all the, all the outfits I do for Dorla. Honestly, they're probably the best outfits. They're I've pretty ever put worn, together. But I feel like cringeworthy for me it has more to do with like the amount that I feel like. I'm being damaged physically yeah. by wearing the outfit. Uh -huh. So in that case, I would 100% say the last time I was Vanellope, um, yeah. my Nike leggings from 8th grade PE. <laughs> <laughs> I, this seems I'm a little bit bigger than them the now. 8th grade. <laughs> and um, this caused her to... <laughs> in um, my case, a little... <laughs> I w going by your metric, I would... I would say Jon Snow due to the, the heat factor, mm -hmm. but I actually felt that I looked pretty good in him, yeah, so it kind of canceled out. So in that case, I think mine would have to be the chef that I actually <laughs> peed myself in. If that's not crunch It wouldn't be Edgeworth in the shorts. I mean, that was just kind of good fun. Yeah, It, it that's wasn't okay. a genuine black problem. <laughs> <laughs> um... You could be any animal, Vera Marx. What would you be? And not a dog, apparently. A lion. <laughs> oh, look, we're almost out of time. Okay, good. Let me just find the funnest one. Is there anything sexual? I don't know, it's 17, so. What's the worst lie you've ever told your parents, Vera Marx? Um. I mean, I think we, we lied a little bit about. Um. Oh, there's the I think room. Face Attorney is, is his secret that's been kept from them. Nah, yeah, they don't know about that. Are you a virgin, Vera Rex? I think. <laughs> Do you ever think about me, Vera Rex? No. <laughs> <coughs> Vera Rex, what turns you on? Um, the idea of Vera Rex coming. <laughs> Do you believe in monogamy? No. 
What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? Um, that we were being recognized by Pearl Productions and oh, Jack yeah. was balding. A classic yeah. inspiration of Rare Marks, actually. It was Carter's actually pretty motivational. <laughs> yeah. Um, what would your younger self not believe about your life today? I feel like it would be that somehow we're still doing really dumb shit yeah. on the equivalent mm -hmm. of a webcam. Yeah. Because if you don't know or you didn't look at our Metal Gear recent videos, this has been going on for about 12 years. <laughs> yeah. A very, very long time. <laughs> In various degrees with some breaks. Hmm. There's a video of Big Time Rush arguing for 13 minutes straight, so I'm just gonna put that on, I think, to finish off the stream. Okay. Argue. Argue now. Big Time Rush, and we're here with 17. We are? Yeah, yeah. And, we're, and we're gonna do some superlatives. I like that. Let's play. I'm 